Hey guys, welcome back to Crazy Editors. Today, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and install your HP printer conveniently. This video is going to help you and you're not going to need any expertise or any technical skills in order to do this. This is a pretty simple job. A lot of people, they do get scared whenever it's about technical stuff. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and set up your printer with a full set of software and drivers precisely in this video i am going to set up hp office jet 5740 series printer on this windows 11 computer in this step number one we are going to download an application from hp's website that is hp easy start this is a free application tool that allows us to detect the best possible and the latest drivers for the printer. In order to download this application, please open up any one of your browser and type in the very top search bar HP Easy Start. So go ahead and ensure you click on HP's official website only. And now from this page, go ahead and click on the download button. As Easy Start has been already downloaded, click on it. In that very next window, go ahead and click on accept all. Now from here, the situation may be different. If you have a brand new printer and if you have not set it up with a Wi-Fi, you may have to first set it up. Moreover, you can also go ahead and use the same HP Easy Start application to connect your brand new printer to the Wi-Fi network as well. In this window, I can already see my printer listed. I also see the IP address for my printer as I connected this printer to the Wi-Fi already. If in your case, your printer is not connected to the wireless network, then in this window, you're going to first of all see to set up your printer with a Wi-Fi. As default, when you buy a brand new printer, it is already in the discovery mode. So your printer will be listed here and you'll be able to follow the instructions. To complete the wireless configuration process, go ahead and follow the instructions in this application that will allow you to set up your printer with a Wi-Fi network. As my printer is already on the Wi-Fi, I will go ahead and click on continue. Now here the application is going to look for possible necessary drivers which are compatible with this operating system for this specific printer model. Again in the next window, click on accept all. Now from here, you have multiple options. If you have an HP account, you can go ahead and click on the sign in button and log into your HP account. If you don't, you can also create one. But for me, I don't wanna get into this right now, so I will simply go ahead and I skip this process. Now, in this window, you can also go ahead and choose if you want to set up an instant ink account with your printer. As I don't wanna do that, I will skip it for now and skip this offer. In this window, you can go ahead and choose either to auto update your printer for the firmware or notify. I'll choose notify and uh, continue. Here we have a list of possible and most supported drivers which are latest for this printer specifically. It's recommended to download HP Smart. However, I'm going to download the full software and drivers which will include HP Smart itself and also a dedicated driver software for the printer also a scan software and driver which will allow me to scan the documents conveniently to my computer so i suggest you to go ahead and choose full software and drivers if that option is available in the list and further go ahead and click on continue in this window go ahead and click on next Accept the terms, choose the tiny box on the left bottom corner and click on accept. Here you can allow HP to collect your information, your data. I say no thanks. Also here I will say no thanks. Now you can simply sit back and relax and let this process complete. It's going to take easily a few minutes. In this next window, you will already see your printer as it is connected to the Wi-Fi. Select your printer, click on next. 
If you want to share your printer over this network with other devices connected to it, click on yes. The software is installed and the device is ready. You can go in and close this window. The setup is completed. This is all just unnecessary. You can go in and close this window. Now, if you notice on the desktop, there's a dedicated icon for this printer HP Office Jet. If I hit it twice, it will come up with all the information related to this printer. We'd have a dedicated dashboard and we'd be able to control plenty of things from that dashboard. And the best part, I've seen a lot of people struggling finding the level of their ink cartridges in the printers. This application is going to show you right there the level of ink cartridges, how much you have left on it, and when you have to change it, you can get all that information right from the same window. Apart from that, you have plenty of other options to explore through. More importantly, from the same window, you can go ahead and also click on a scan button and initiate a scan to your computer from the scanner. You can also set up your fax or customize it from here. You also have the tools at the top wherein you get some tools to troubleshoot a variety of issues with your printer. In fact, you can see HP Printer and Scan Doctor. You can directly access this free tool for troubleshooting the printer from this application. So that's pretty much it guys in this video. This is how you can go ahead and use the HP's free tool, HP Easy Start in order to set up any HP printer on any computer like Windows 11 or 10 without needing any expert skills. Well, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe Crazy Editors for future tech tips, tricks, and solutions. Until next time, you take yourself and I'll see you in the next one.